Alright, so what we're doing today, we are going to put the Crazy Splinter Cell mod onto your USB stick. Um, first, what you're going to want to do is have a way of plugging that into your original Xbox. Um, you can either buy or make a cord out of an old 360 controller and a female USB, or you can go the route that I did and actually take out a memory slot and solder in a female USB to your controller. Um, either way will work. You can also buy the cable. Um, I didn't want to go the route of really buying anything besides the game, so that's the route that I went. So anyways, you're going to want to plug your USB flash drive into your Xbox somehow. Um, go to your memory, you know, click on memory. Once it pops up, it's going to tell you that your memory card is damaged, blah, 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 you know, whatever. Um, it may not work the first time, but keep doing it till it does. It'll actually pop up next to, uh, when you click on memory, it will actually pop up next to your Xbox hard disk, and it will tell you if there's a memory card inserted. So I had already gotten mine to work. I took a picture of it to show, you know, what it says on the screen when you, when it recognizes it. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and plug in the flash drive, which if it tells you it needs to format it, which it just did, um, you know it's worked. You know, you have it to the right format. So we're going to go ahead and hit cancel. Now, what we're going to want to do, because we can't use our computer to access the flash drive because it needs to format it, you're going to open up Explorer 360, which I, I'll put a link in the description for that, um, to my Mediafire account. That way it doesn't go anywhere. Anyways, open up Explorer 360. You're going to see nothing here. Click on Drive. Go over to Open. Come on. Hard Drive or Mem Card. Click on it. It'll you know search through your computer. You'll, he you'll hear your hard disk spin, uh, spin up. So there is the partition. So now what we're going to do, um, here's the mod. I've already extracted it to my desktop. That'll also be in the description um, with a link to it to my Mediafire. So go ahead and open that, move that over there. So we'll take the first folder, copy it. You'll see it'll it worked there. It did its little uh here, let's do this. Do the next folder. It's injecting everything, evolution dashboard, all that. Um which I like it. There's Unleash X, that's my favorite one. Um, haven't tried Avalanche yet. Couldn't get that one to work right. A lot of people are having problems with it. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. We do now have the mods. I don't know why there's all these empty file folders here. Um, I've formatted and reformatted multiple times. It just pops up. Um, more than likely, it's just you know stuff to do with the Xbox that it's configured with. Um, you know, to make the, the flash drive format as a memory card. So anyways, we'll stop this video. I'll go ahead and jump on my other computer so I can record the screen. Um, and like I said, yeah, go ahead and watch my other video if you want to figure out how to make that USB controller mod. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome, and it's a lot easier than having a, you know, a second cord. You can also, if you really want to, um, if you want to take apart your Xbox, you can always... Um, cut the wires about halfway through on your third or fourth controller port and you can always wire it into the front of your Xbox. I like it on the controller because I don't have to get up from my computer to go over to the Xbox to put the flash drive in. Um, but anyways, like I said before, we're going to end this part, start on the next part. Um, just keep watching.
Thank you. 